Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate for the first six terms of a sequence. Um, so basically what I have here is there actually I have four different sequences for you. And what we're going to do is evaluate again for the first six terms. Now remember to understand, um, you know, when, when we have sequences, what each of these is the 5n plus 3, the negative 3n minus 4, the 2n squared plus 1, and the 2 raised to the n plus 2, those are all our rules, where n is going to be the, va the value, the n is going to be the number in the sequence. So if we want to find the first number in the sequence, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a sub 1. And then I'm going to now replace, actually I can just write that there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace every single time so if I want to find the first number in the sequence, a sub 1, first number in the sequence, wherever I see an n, I'm now going to replace that with a 1. So 5 times 1 plus 3. And I think using parentheses is so important it's whenever you're evaluating or plugging in a number um, into a rule or a function or an equation. OK? And then all you simply do is simplify. Now, again, I'm going to kind of speed this video up a little bit. I'm going to do a lot of the work in my head, but I will say it out loud. Um, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So now I'll do a sub 2. I'm going to do 5 times 2 plus 3. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. a sub 3 is going to be 5 times 3 plus 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18 a sub 4 equals 5 times 4 plus 3. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 is 23. a sub 5 is 5 times 5 plus 3. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 3 is 28. And a sub 6. 5 times 6 is going to be 30, plus 3 is going to be 33. OK? So basically what we're going to do is you're going to do that for all of all the rest of the problems. So let's see, negative 3 times 1 is a negative 3. If you have negative 3 minus 4, so that means you owe me $3, you borrow 4 more, that's going to be negative 7, almost falling down here. a sub 2 is negative 3 times 2 minus 4. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 minus 4 is going to be negative 10. a sub 3 is negative 3 times negative, oops, <laughs> times negative 3. See, I'm starting to make 6. 3 minus 4, negative 3 times uh, 3 is going to be negative 9, minus 3 is going to be negative 13. a sub 4 is going to be negative 3 times 4, minus 4. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, minus 4 is going to be negative 16. a sub 5 is negative 3 times 5, minus 4. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, minus 4 is negative 19. And let's go to a sub 6 is negative 3 times 6 minus 4. Negative 3 times 6 is going to be negative 18. Minus 4 is going to be a negative 22. Getting some good practice with our um, good practice with our negative, or yeah, subtracting negative numbers. All right, now let's go ahead. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. So now let's go ahead and do our a sub 1. Now remember, again, the parentheses is so important because you're taking 1, you're squaring it. You've got to use the rules of operations. 1, squaring it, then multiply by 2, then add it to 1. So here I'd have a sub, oops, let's see what this is. So 1 squared is 1, times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. a sub 2 equals 2 times 2 squared plus 1. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9 a sub 3 equals 2 times 3 squared plus 1. 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19. a sub 4, 2 times 4 squared plus 1. 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32 plus 1 is 33. a sub 5 equals 2 times 5 squared plus 1. 5 squared is 25 times 2 is 50 plus 1 is 51. And then we last one, we have a sub 6 equals 2 times 6 squared plus 1. 6 squared is 36 times 2 is 72 plus 1 is 73. OK, so now let's go ahead and do uh, the last one. Now this one is we're taking 2 and we're raising it to the power. That means we're multiplying by itself so many times. So 2 multiplied by itself one time would just be 2, or multiplied by itself 2 is 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 a sub 2 means 2 squared plus 2. And notice again how I'm plugging in whatever number I'm finding in the sequence, that's what I'm plugging in for n. So 2 squared is 4. That means 2 times 2. 2 squared is 4 plus 2 is going to equal 6. 2 cubed is or 2 to the third power 
plus 2. That means 2 times 2 times 2, which is going to be 8 plus 2 is 10. Then I have a to the fourth, which is going to be 2 to the fourth plus 2. So 2 to the fourth is going to be 16 plus 2 is 18. I have 2 to the fifth power, which is going to be 2 to the fifth plus 2. So 2 to the fifth power is going to be 32, uh, plus 2 is 34. And then last but not least is a to the sixth, so 2 to the sixth power. That means 2 raised to the sixth, multiplied by itself six times, um, is going to be 64, plus 2 is 66. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate for the first six terms of a, G of a sequence, not geometric, just a sequence. Thanks.